back for another two for Tuesday. That open tag is brought to us by Tom over at Knife Delights. Guys, be sure you go sub to his channel. He also has History Delights, and that is a, a great channel as well where he does a lot of uh, venturing out and going to historical sites and historical places and uh, just uh, sharing that with his viewers, and it's a really a great time. So be sure you go sub to both of his channels. And that's Tom over at Knife Delights. Uh, guys, as you can see by the thumbnail, we're going to take a look at a Western set here. This is the Hatchet Knife Combo Set. Now, I've done some research on these pieces, and um, I hope my information is correct. I just don't know. If you have watched Tom's uh, Saturday channel uh, episodes he does that come out on Saturday mornings, I did one with him a while back, and I showed uh, all in all, I think, uh, six western pieces between the knives and the hatchets that I had and uh, this one here um, you guys know the story my buddy was at a gun store that was closing down he bought um, a couple of these sets like this and then uh, what was there three other just knives with uh, knives with sheaths and I bought all but one set because uh, he wanted to keep a set so I got all the rest of them so we're going to look at this set right here. Again, this is the knife and hatchet combo. Um, as you can see, this has been used. And we're going to talk about the age of this thing. I'm going to put up some screenshots as well. Maybe some pictures of uh, an old catalog. Um, some tank stamp information. Just different things like that. Now, we will look at the sheath first off. It does have Western written into the sheath right here. And then on your, your uh, snaps here, we got western cutlery now he didn't know if these sheaths match this set or not um, he just did the best he could in the store to try to piece together uh, the items that he found so what i want to do now is i'm going to take both these out of the sheath and then we're going to just talk about the pieces here that we have all right um so if you look the the hatchet itself comes up through the top uh, so there now, we look at these pieces. Um, I did have to clean them up quite a bit. It, it did have a lot of schmutz and stuff here on the pommels, and I was able to get most of that off. It was some type of sticky residue, almost like a finish or a lacquer or something. So I did the best I could to get that stuff peeled off of there. And then we got a little bit of tarnishing here on these pommels. But the reason I wanted this set right here is because it has matching tank stamps. Um, so if we look at the, we'll look at this one here and we'll try to get her to come in as best we could. We got Western Boulder, Colorado, and then patent number 1-967.479. That's what it says there on that tang stamp and the knife has the matching tang stamp. So that's the reason I wanted it and it looked somewhat similar. So if we look at these pieces, we've got you know the spacers in the bottom and spacers in the middle now the spacers exactly don't match exactly and then this has a, a brass guard here where this has uh, stainless steel or aluminum I'm not a hundred percent sure what that guard is made out of but um, that's the reason I want this piece so bad um, because it is the it I think it's the oldest out of all the pieces I was able to get uh, the reason I know it's the oldest, I'm going to shoot up a picture here that shows um, the dates for the tank stamps. And this, uh, according to the information I've got, this is a 1935 through 1950 knife and hatchet both. So, and then if we look at this, you know, we got teeners on it. And uh, I, I didn't want to take it all the way down to perfection. I kind of left some of the age stuff on it, you know, around your pommel and and the stuff right in here, the peppering and whatnot. I just didn't want to go full bore on this. I wanted to leave some age and history on these pieces, so I kind of just used some uh, some flits, and that's really all I used. Um, so now, if we look at these, your hatchet is some pretty decent thick stock here. We'll try to get that to there coming in the best we can right there you see the thickness of this hatchet and how sturdy that is and then you know the the bifurcated tang I'll put a picture of that as well 
where this is two pieces and come down and those both them pieces are pinned here. You see your two pins that you have here. So and then I'll put a, I'll put a picture of that and this the knife also has it. If you look you got your two pins here. So this tang it comes down in two pieces. It's hollow in the middle and then a pin on each side. And that's what that patent stands for, that bifurcated tang. So then we'll look at the knife here. And you look at the, the, the knife and it's, it's pretty thin stock that you got here. Now it's probably pretty thin stock because your hatchet is made for your work. Or your knife is made for your cleanup. You know, you got most of your heavy work done. Now it's time to get the meat off the bone and, and kind of just skin and stuff like that. You're not going through the pelvis anymore. You're not trying to bust through the sternum because you've already done that with this piece right here. And as you look, you can see that nice brass guard. But all in all, these pieces are in pretty fine shape for being a 1935 through 1950. You know. And I did talk to Tom, and if you guys go back and watch that show, and I'll link that episode uh, below in the description, so be sure you check that episode out where we talk about all these pieces. And I said, you know, what, what doesn't match is, you know, you got the, the your, your spacers here that are kind of, I don't know, silverish or aluminum or whatever, where these right here are, are an off-white. You know, you got, they are the same style, black, light, red, light, black. This is black, light, red, light, black. So he's like, hey, well, maybe they made a bunch of these. And then when they made their, their hatchets, they decided, hey, let's put a combo set together. And they just used what they had. And that does make kind of perfect sense because back then, uh, you just made do with what you had. You know, there wasn't, oh, it's got to match perfectly. But if we think about matching perfectly, these tank stamps are are what matches perfectly so they were definitely made through that 1935 through 1950 era um, to me these are these are special pieces that's why I don't want to sand these like this right here this the surface uh, patina rust or whatever you want to call it I could get all that off here I could make this look brand new but then it would just I think it would kill the overall age of this and I definitely I just don't think I want to do that I kind of want to leave this as it is just put some protective wax and oil on it and just kind of leave it alone. Um, but let's do some measurements on this. So let's look at the axe first. We'll start on the four. It goes all the way to 14 and 5 eighths probably. So it's like 10 and 5 eighths inches total length here what that we have. And then, you know, the actual, let's look at the blade part here. We'll put it on to eight, and it goes to. It's good where I can see it. it. Goes to about ten and a half, so it's two and a half inches across your face here of your axe, and then the overall height of your axe. Let's look what we got here. We'll start at the six, and it goes out to ten and a quarter, so it's four and a quarter inches across here. So. I mean, it definitely, and you got plenty of purchase on it, so you can get a good swing to do any cleanup, or say you're in the woods, you need to knock some limbs down around your tree stand, whatever you need to do around your setup. This is definitely going to get that done for you. And let's look at the, the overall length of your handle here. We'll put it on a six, and it goes to ten and a quarter, so it's four and a quarter on your handle. So let's put that in our hand. That gives me plenty of purchase to use this thing. Plenty of purchase. Let's put that to the side. Let's look at the knife here. And as far as the knife model, I don't even know what model this is really. I have another one that's very similar to this. I should have broke it out before I started the video, but I didn't. So we'll put her on the five. It goes to 13 and 13 and three quarters. So she's eight and three quarter inches total length. As far as our blade here, we'll put her on the eight. And it goes to 12 and a Twelve and three quarters, so she's four and three quarter inches total. Cut in length, we'll put her on the eight, and it goes to twelve and a quarter. So we got four and a quarter total inches of cutting length. And we we'll look at the belly on this. I mean, look at that. Perfect for skinning, gutting, cleaning up. 
Again, you got thin blade stock to make it easier to get through. You know, you're not trying to pound something that's a quarter inches, a quarter inch thick stock all the way down through your meat and stuff like that. You're just cleaning up at this point. You're, you're skinning. You got your gut opening. This to bust through your bone and whatnot. And then this right here to do your your major cleanup and processing. So let's look at our handle on this and see if it matches. We'll put it on the eight. And it goes to four. So it's the same, it's the same handle length as your as your axe here. Sorry if you heard some wind noise there. My wife was opening the door. So yeah, it's uh, basically the same handle length. Again, your brass versus probably aluminum, I would say. But I mean it it's a good matchup, and it, the the age, it's the same age. These are the same age of pieces. So I'm just really happy that I was able to obtain this. Um you know, I got this set and three other knives, and I paid $150 total for all of it. So I, I feel like I got a pretty good deal, not knowing what I was getting into. Um, my next step is going to be, I got to get this cleaned up. I, I you know, I just want to get some saddle soap, get this clean. I mean, you look at that. That's, that's blood. That is, someone used this. That's blood, clearly. So... Um, this this has been used to process game of some kind in some form or fashion but guys again I'm gonna put some screenshots up through this video I'm gonna try to edit them in and whatnot but I just uh, I just want to bring you guys along for this and uh, and just show you and and be sure you go back and watch the video of myself and knife delights on a Saturday morning chat I'll link that below I'll link his channels below as well because this is his open tag and I want to thank Tom for putting that together for all of us to join in on two, on a two for Tuesday. So here's my two for Tuesday, guys. So be sure you also tune in for Happy Hour Live Chat every Sunday, uh, 530 Eastern, 430 Central. All right, guys. Hey, while you're out there, stay sharp and stay strong. Mm -hmm.